Hi, I'm James from The Green Age, and today I'm going to talk to you about solar PV and the feed-in tariff. So about 600,000 properties here in the UK have solar panels on their roof. They're all producing lots of electricity, and every home that has it is benefiting from this free electricity they're producing. In order to incentivize people to install solar PV further, the government also introduced several years ago a scheme known as the feed-in tariff. And the feed-in tariff is a payment you get paid for producing electricity. Now there are two parts to the feed-in tariff. There is the generation tariff, and that is a payment made specifically for creating electricity. So every unit of electricity I produce in my home, I get paid four pence from my solar PV. I also then get paid for exporting it. Now the export tariff is now marginally higher than the generation tariff. It's at 4.9 pence. It costs about 12 and p to buy a unit of electricity from the grid. Now when I export it, I only get paid 4.9p. So therefore, hopefully you can see it makes sense because I get that energy saving from using the electricity I produce rather than exporting it. Now, interestingly, when they install solar systems in the UK, solar PV systems, they don't tend to install an export meter. They only install a generation meter. To get an export number, what the government do is they take my generation number, so the number of kilowatt hours of electricity I produce, and they halve it. And then I get paid that payment regardless if I export all of it or none of it. Therefore, in order to maximize the payback, so speed up your payback, the best way to go is to use all of the electricity that you generate. I'm going to be paid 50% whether I export it or not. There is no point worrying about that. If I can use all of that electricity, then obviously it means that I don't have to buy electricity from the grid. It reduces payback. Well, there are systems manufactured, solar PV optimizers is one such example, that divert any excess electricity you're producing. Instead of allowing it to go back to the grid, they send it to your immersion unit on your hot water tank producing hot water. That means that you're not exporting that back to the grid. You can also do things like behavioral changes. So when the sun's shining, I'm running my washing machine, I'm running my dryer, just to ensure that I'm trying to maximize it. You know, I've got to wash my clothes at some point, I may as well do it when it's sunny and I'm producing electricity. In conclusion, the feed-in tariff is a great way to subsidize the cost of installing a solar PV system. If you install a three and a half kilowatt system, which is quite a big system on your, on your roof, you can expect a yearly payment of about 200 pounds. Now this payment you get for 20 years, it's made by the energy companies or your specific energy company, and it does go up with inflation. So if you're going to get solar system installed on your roof, you need to make sure it gets installed by an MCS installer, because that is one of the prerequisites to ensuring you get it. Uh, and also you have an EPC above a band D rating. For more information about solar PV or any other energy saving solution, head over to any of our social media channels that are displaying right now, or you can head over to the website, www.thegreenage.co.uk. Thanks for listening.